Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to be taking a look at the Baro. This is a GPU block for the Asus GTX 1080 Ti. Uh, does the 1070 and 1060 as well. And uh, so yeah, there's some little QR codes. But anyways, let's... Uh, Pop it open. I'll pop up a picture on uh, the screen showing this. Um, I got this at a really good price on Amazon. So let's open this up. Looks like we have some thermal pads here. There is three strips in there. Looks so like we have a uh, RGB header connection. We have two plugs, hardware, that thing is heavy. The manual, definitely be needing this. Wow. So this thing is really heavy. So there it is there. It's a full cover block. See there it says Strix. Borrow. You can see me there. Hello. So it looks like we have a either in or out. And then also on the other side. And you can see some of the milling marks there. This is nickel plated copper. So, and then it looks like we do have a RGB strip here on the bottom. That's the uh, connector that's gonna plug into that cable there. So yeah, there that is there. This thing is really heavy. And uh, here is my 1080, I have it on a vertical GPU mount. I still gotta take it apart. But uh, that's what it's gonna be going on. So uh, I'll get it on, I'm not gonna show a video of me putting it on. I've never done this before. So uh, I'll get it on there and uh, come back and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so we got this installed, uh, fit perfect. The uh, instructions here, they are pretty much crap. This is all it gives you for instruction. Tells you to remove, tells you to put the thermal pads, and then put four screws. Um, it comes with a bunch of screws. Uh, I figured it out, got it all taken care of and on there. And then, uh, of course, I put the... Uh, back plate back on if you do get this block the black back plate will only mount at three points so there there and right here um, that's it that's just enough for it to hold on there it's not a big deal but uh, otherwise the block went on there um really really well it was super easy one thing i did notice is the stock thermal paste this stuff is like dry and crunchy and uh, that was actually what took me the longest to get off of there, was uh, getting the thermal paste off the old die and putting the uh, thermal pads on. But uh, anyways, yeah, so that's it installed. Um, this is my uh, Asus GTX 1080. It's the uh, A8G version. And like I said, I will have a link in the description for this. But uh, there it is. So we will, uh, I'll get it installed in the computer and uh, show you guys it all working and stuff next. Alright, so I just finished 
banning all the tubing and stuff. Um, I just literally powered it on. So uh, that's what it looks like there. And uh, yeah. So I'll get it set up here in a minute. I'll get the whole computer turned on. But uh, yeah, that's how it's looking. All right, guys. So I got the GPU block in my loop now. Everything's running. Computer's up and running good. It's been going great for about two hours now. And uh, overall, this was a really easy install as far as putting the GPU block on the graphics card. The hardest part, I would say, was figuring out how I wanted to run my my uh, hard line. But uh, I've been building on this computer for a couple of years. I've had it. I've been upgrading here and there. And uh, it's my first hard line tubing build. I could not be happier with how it's been turning out. Uh, the GPU, so there's the LED strip down there. It does uh, shine up through the acrylic on the block. It's a five volt. I have it plugged into my uh, motherboard header and uh, I'm using the Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut uh, for the thermal paste on the GPU. And then I have this uh, Arctic Silver 5 on the CPU. And to my amazement, which really shocked me is the GPU with the fans went from an idle of 54 degrees down to 29 degrees uh, with the block on there. That's a huge drop in temperature. I was not expecting that whatsoever. I'm very, very happy with that. And overall, real happy with how this has turned out. So uh, like I said, I'll have a link for the uh, GPU block down in the description. Um, I'll also have all my PC specs. If you guys have any questions, comments, anything, please leave them down below. I will respond to them and get right back to you. But uh, please subscribe, I got some more videos coming. I appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out my videos. And there it is. So yeah, thanks guys. Take care.